How about this? A veteran rowing, yeah, rowing across the Atlantic, get it, by himself. He's doing it to raise money for veterans. Here he is, Tim Crockett. He's an Englishman, I might add, with a military background. Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you. You are a former Royal Marine Commando. That's correct. Special Boat Service, which is like the American SEALs. Yes. And you're doing this. How long is it going to take you? I'm aiming for 50 days or less, which will mean that I have to average about 60 miles a day um, oh. to get across in that time. Jeez, 60 miles a day? Yeah. You've got to be fit. Fit and a little bit crazy, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's all true. Have you got some kind of communications uh, with people? You're not totally out there? That's true, yes. Yeah. So for safety reasons, we have to have a certain amount of connectivity, satellite phones to speak to the race control. Uh, sure. and obviously ask for weather routing and any other information that will help get us across in the most efficient and safe way. Well, I know you're raising money for veterans and awareness of veterans, British and American, I take it. Correct. Um, that's, that seems like it, you, you need some really strong motivation to get out there and row across the Atlantic by yourself. Yes, um, obviously having spent most of my adult life either in, on or under the water, um, I'm comfortable in the environment. I wouldn't say that I like it but I'm, I'm happy to, to work in that sort of place. Um, it was about two years ago, I reconnected with an old uh, Marine buddy of mine over social media yeah. and learned that he took his own life um, about six weeks later because of PTSD. So it was at that point that I kind of found new, renewed motivation to do something uh, yeah. to have more impact. And that sort of set me on my way and decided that Rowing an Ocean kind of lived up to that challenge. Are you with two particular charities? I am. In the UK, there's an organisation called Combat Stress, yep. one of the oldest um, charities that's devoted to um, post-traumatic stress or combat stress, as they call it in the UK, yep. uh, set up on the, uh, the back of kind of World War I. And then over here, an organisation called Give an Hour, yep. which works with clinical professionals that donate their own time to help uh, servicemen and women dealing with mental health issues. Um, are you coming back to America after you make it across there? That's the plan, yes. So uh, the race starts in Lagomera in the Canary Islands, which is obviously just off the north coast of Africa. And then we make our way using the trade winds across to Antigua. Okay. Um, and then obviously we'll recover the boat back here. Seriously, are you, are you a little nervous? I mean, scared. I, I don't mm. want to use a pejorative word. Are you scared? No. Unusually enough. Why not? Um, <laughs> again, I'm comfortable in the environment. There's, this has been two years in the planning. Uh, a lot has gone into it. Um, I've got some great support from my own company who has provided this sort of support to yacht races around the world. Okay. Um, again, I've got a team of doctors that can provide me with telemedicine support. So I've got a lot of people behind me helping me behind the scenes. Um, all I've got to do is sit in that boat and keep rowing. Well, yeah, that's all, <laughs> that's all you got to do, son. <laughs> Just get out there and row. Exactly, there you have it. Well, look, I think it's terrific, and we're very happy to have you on the show. Appreciate and I hope it. that when you've done this, when you've gone through Christmas and New Year's and your 48th birthday, I want you to come on back and tell us how you did. Absolutely, yeah, we'd love we'll to do. hear from you. I will do. Sir, thanks for being here. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.